Yo, welcome guys, it's Mali Reborn. Today I want to make a video about the weapon meta in Ironside after the patch and the update. And before we get into that, uh, if you did not see my last video about the DSR1, the snipers got nerfed as you guys already know because of the patch notes video, the DSR1 is back and let me tell you that. And today I'm going to talk about every weapon I like in Ironside and in every category of weapons. So we're gonna talk about assault rifles, SMGs, sniper rifles, LMGs and the special, the ballistic shield. First of all, let's start with the assault rifles in Ironside. At the top we have the Type 89. I would say this is the best weapon to pick right now. It is an assault rifle, so it has a good range, good ammo capacity, and it handles like an SMG. So if you're new to Ironside, I would advise you to use the Type 89. It is the meta right now. Uh, in every lobby, every match you get into, you will see people running with the Type 89, as you can use it in close quarter combat and long range battles, except if you, the enemy team has a good sniper. My second choice would be the G36C. It is, uh, it has a nice fire rate. It's low recoil, and I just like the weapon as it almost never misses. If you really hate the game and you just want to troll in the game, pick the FAMAS. The FAMAS is one of the most overpowered weapons in the game as it shoots faster than some SMGs, but is an, it is an assault rifle. It has high recoil, high fire rate, but the recoil is controllable as it is mostly vertical and no horizontal uh, recoil. So the Vamos would be in my meta as well. The AUG, this is one of the weapons mostly used in the game. Uh, people who run the AUG almost always use it with a suppressor. The SCAR H used to be meta, but since the Type 89 launched in the game, it almost took its spot forever. You don't see many people use the Scar H as it has low ammo capacity. Uh, if you're new to the game, I would advise you to run with the K2C. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game as it has high fire rate and low recoil. Or the M4. The M4 is pretty good as well. Uh, the same as the K2C, low recoil and high fire rate. Uh, stay away from the single tap single fire weapons like the M39 or the H HK417 uh, those are harder to use and you have to be really accurate to get the most benefit out of them uh, later on in the video I will show you some uh, class setups I use with these weapons as well they are mostly all the same so you'll see it then SMGs the most meta SMG of the past few months has been the AR57 it has uh, 50 ammo, so 50 bullets in a clip or magazine. It has high mobility, high fire rate, and but I don't like the recoil of it. It has some vertical and some horizontal recoil to it. My favorite weapon is the MP7A1. I just call it MP7 for short. I don't know why they add the A1 to it. This weapon has uh, with an extended max 40 uh, bullets in a magazine. And with the suppressor, it just melts people. Uh, it has a really high fire rate, high vertical recoil. So if you use this with the iron side, most of the time you won't be able to see your enemies if you can't control the recoil. The P90, uh, most of the people I see in the game use the P90 as it has 50 ammo as well and higher fire rate than the AR-57. And most people just run with it and hip fire and get kills like that. And aiming down sides with it is kind of weird with the iron side. But if you use a scope with it, it works pretty good. Uh, I personally don't use this weapon that much or that often. One of the best weapon in the game, in my opinion, is the MP5. Nobody uses this weapon. It is a master in hip fire. Just put a laser sight on it and a modified barrel and go hip fire with it it almost never misses a bullet um i don't know why but the hip fire on this gun is the best in the game just try that and one of my personal favorites in the game is the 
LWRC45. I won't call it meta, but it has 25 bullets in it with a reason. It's really accurate, low recoil, and it, is, it has a moderate fire rate. So you won't run out of ammo that often. It kills like as a assault rifle, but it is an SMG. And I use it with the iron sights or sometimes a quick shot sight. For the sniper rifles, yeah, this is a tough one as my favorite sniper rifle of all time is the DSR-1. Uh, I uploaded a video about this one yesterday uh, with this skin. I love this weapon, but I can't use this with some perks, but I'll show you my class setups later on. The blazer, um, it aims down the side faster than the DSR-1, but you have to be really accurate with it. So you have to hit the enemies in the chest or in the head to kill them in one shot. If you're off by a little, they won't die and you will need a second shot to finish them off or use your secondary weapon to kill them. And just to snipe, really snipe, I won't advise you to use the Sabre or the Blazer R93. I would, if you need a one shot sniper, pick the DSR-1 and go with that one. The other three weapons are uh, like semi-auto, uh, assault rifles in my opinion, marksman rifles. They all kill in one shot to the head. The CFX50 and the SVD and the PSG, but the most meta of all three of them is the SVX50 right now. Um, it has like no recoil and no sway with the standard scope, so if you pick this one you can just two tap people all the time or if you hit them in the head they die in one shot. So the SR1 and the CFX50. For the LMGs my favorite is the Ultimax 100. Uh, this is the SCAR with 100 bullets in the in a clip. It has no real high hit, uh, recoil, but it jumps a lot. So if you can control that, it just kills everybody in, with 3 bullets. But yeah, the mobility is really low on this weapon, but I have a fix for that in the class setup part of this video. The MG3 is really meta right now, as it is kinda a submachine gun with the handling of an LMG as it has a really high fire rate but a really high recoil as well so if you can control the recoil uh, you will own everybody on the map with this weapon for the specials just don't use the ballistic shield please that's all for the loadouts of the weapons i use for the type 89 i use the following attachments a silencer or a suppressor as i call them and a clear sight you could use my favorite scope, the rifle scope on bigger maps and the quick shot side or the clear side on smaller maps so you can use it more as an SMG. Uh, it works with every side pretty good so it's more of your personal preference. You could use any side on it, uh, it's mostly your personal preference which one you use so take that. As for the secondary weapons I use the combat crossbow as it is basically a pocket sniper for me. But if you use it with a sniper, take a Tech Ops or a Python, so you can, if someone doesn't die in one shot, you can finish them off with a pistol. And the shotgun is just for sitting corners or close quarter combat, so you can one shot people with a shotgun. Let me get back to the Type 89. Uh, I use Quick Reload with it, as I reload a lot with Assault Rifles uh, after one or two kills. And I just want to keep rushing the game, so Quick Reload helps me with that. And double time makes you move faster when you're aiming down sight. And that makes you peak corners uh, while aiming down sight faster. Uh, this is mostly personal preference as well, but this is what I use in quick recovery as I don't like waiting in a corner till my health regions back to 100%. Uh, you could use assassin now too, so you can melee people from a, a longer range. For my sniper setup, I tried to use the blazer right uh, today. Um, I don't like the quick aim on the blazer. It's way too fast. So if you're used to the DSR-1, don't use it with the quick aim. My setup for the DSR-1 is as followed. Let me put my setup back real quick. I use the straight pull so you can fire more shots back to back and the fire per scope. If you can't handle the Viper Scope as it has 90% more sway after their last nerf, you could use the standard scope and use a modified rifling instead. And my 
standard ammo of choice is the soft point bullet. The DSR-1 I use quick aim so I can aim down sight faster. I actually after the nerf started using double time as my aim down sight is time is slower after the patch. So I need some more space to move in and dodge bullets while aiming down sight and kill people. In my last video you can see me moving right to the left and left to the right a lot with this uh, skill and it helps a lot with after the patch and quick recovery for if you get shot and heal faster and for most assault rifles i just use this setup or change double time for marathon my sng setup uh, for the mp7 is the extended mag with a suppressor um i'm pretty used to the iron side of the mp7 so it doesn't really bother me uh, seeing people as i can uh, handle the recoil really well but if you can't um, handle the recoil, um, change the extended mag to one of the sides of your choice. And quick reload, marathon and quick recovery for the skills as well. And you could change this to quick switch to switch to your secondary faster if you're out of ammo. Or pick up weapons from the ground. And for the LMGs, I normally don't use quick reload. But uh, lately I've been using quick reload as I run out of bullets really fast as I spam this in um, objective game modes like resource takeover. But you could use a quick, sit, quick switch or nimble hands so you can throw your grenades faster or switch to your secondary faster. Um, it makes the handling of the weapon a little bit better. As for the recoil test for every weapon I recommend for each class so SMG, assault rifle, sniper rifle or LMG. Uh, I'll show you here my setups and how they behave without me trying to recall, control the recoil and when I try to control the recoil. Uh, we'll start with the MP7A1 and this is what it looks like when I lift my mouse up and start firing the weapon while well, being aiming downside. As you can see, <laughs> funny enough, the MP7A1 makes a 7 with the recoil and it goes away after time, so that's perfect. And when I try to handle the recoil, it looks like this. All in one spot and kill people. I was almost out of ammo, so I'm gonna try it again. So I can show you. Well. I can't get it better than this for you right now. So that's that. And let me do another one. That should kill some people, right? Yeah, perfect. Now on to the next weapon. Be right back. Nice flip. So, as we did for the MP7A1, we will do it for the Type 89. Here's the recoil without me trying to control it. It's mostly vertical, it has a little bit horizontal movement in it. It's way easier to control than the SMG. Uh, let me show you. There you go. On to our next weapon. See you soon. Now it's time for the Ultimax 100. The best LMG there is. And this is without me trying to re control the recoil. There you go. And now well, I tried to control the recoil. Well, that guy has to be dead, right? Pretty good. And now on to the sniper rifles. And now for the DSR-1. You can actually see the sway in how I use how I snipe with this weapon so I can hit every shot. 
this is this way it has it's not that much to be honest it looks a lot but it's not that much you can just move with the weapon while you aim and this way will be gone so if you aim down side you can aim if you're fast enough but if you take your time it will work against you so what do you do you sit, zoom in and you go to the point you want to shoot and you shoot if you go to the point and you wait it will sway away so click shot click shot that just looks cool but yeah not a lot to show for the recoil control here well guys i hope you enjoyed uh these are in my opinion the best weapons in the game right now to use for new and experienced uh players uh, if you have other ideas or opinions about the weapon meta please let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you next saturday with another montage peace